Earth simulation includes useful tools for finding stress hotspots and singularities. Here I have a simple analysis of a bracket which is fixed on one end and has a force applied to the other. It's got a, a mesh control just to refine it a little, little bit in an area where I'd suspect that there is going to be a concentration. Let's run this study now. Looking at the results, you can sort of see that there could be a stress concentration, but it's not 100% clear at this mesh refinement. So what I can do is use the Stress Hotspot Diagnostics tool. I set a severity factor. I've set mine quite, quite high because I'm working with a coarse mesh. And it tells me that it's found stress hotspots. So when I click OK, it gives me some more information about these. It highlights in gray what elements could be part of a stress hotspot. Also allows me to isolate them to more clearly view them. And it shows me which elements in my model would actually be part of it. So the edge one is the culprit here. I can now run a singularity diagnostics, which will run through the analysis, refining the mesh multiple times. I've asked it to do it three times. And we'll try to tell me whether or not this is a singularity or just a stress concentration. Once it's completed, it tells me that there is a singularity in this example. It gives me a few suggestions for how to fix it, and then lets me analyze it a little further. I can isolate and see exactly which elements would be involved, and I can see a convergence plot to see how the stresses are increasing with mesh refinement. Now let's look at removing the singularity. So we'll switch to another study which is exactly the same as the first one, but with a fill at this time. After running it, it looks pretty good. Let's look at the stress hotspot diagnostics with the same setup. This time it just tells me no stress hotspots detected. We can now be satisfied that there is no singularity in this study thanks to the stress hotspot diagnostics.